Carol Lisa Luzito, who is an endangered wildlife artist. Is that correct? title for you? Close enough. Close enough. Painter, okay. <laughs> painter for the endangered species. Now, when did you first, did you start painting as a child or when Me. did this start? Yes. My father, who was an advertising guy, an artist and a musician, mm -hmm. taught me how to draw and paint. Did you gravitate towards animals as subjects right away? Yeah. I was in Catholic school. Yes, I was. <laughs> the but you survived it, right? And yes, thank you, I did. Um, I won this silly little uh, draw your pet contest or something, okay. and then the nuns wouldn't leave me alone. Well, they just said, draw more, draw more. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and I guess and that you, was good. Yeah? Yeah. And did you, were you good right away? Did you I have a wonderful... I was good right away, baby. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how soon did you start selling your art? Was that a while down the road? Or did you start well, selling paintings as a child? I painted a lot, but I didn't do it professionally. I was a fashion illustrator in New York. Okay. And then for some reason, I decided to study children's book illustration. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was in New York also? Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. from New York. Make no mistake about yeah. it. <laughs> and when did you uh, move out to California? 1973. Okay. And were you doing children's illustrations at that point? No, I was out of school and then I was starting a gallery shop. So I exhibited all over the place. Okay. So there are an awful lot of different uh, species. How do you just get in the mood one day and say, I'm going to do kangaroos today? No, no, I do a lot of research. Okay. I see who I feel the most sorry for. I mean, who's the most endangered creature. And then I make up a background and that's it. But Excellent. It takes a long time for the big ones. I do one of a kind mm -hmm. <laughs> originals and I have cliches. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about kangaroo picnic. Okay. How long does it take to do from the time you do your research and you say I'm going to do kangaroos, how long does it take usually to go to completion of a work? Kangaroo picnic, I don't paint all day and night, uh -huh. so I'd say a week and a half for one like that. How about uh, Mexican prairie dogs? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that one. Uh, now, are they so are they uh, endangered? I didn't yeah, know that. they are. Okay, they're all in trouble if I painted them. <laughs> so watch out. <laughs> now, do you keep? Do you follow up um, after you've done the paint? Say the Mexican prairie dogs. A year or two down, do you keep track of how they're doing? If there are still yeah. any of them left? Uh huh. And do you think your paintings have helped keep a species around a little longer, help people protect them? I hope so. I have no idea. You know, they're out in the wild. They're not saying, oh, wonder if Carol Zito painted us today. I but try. Are, are there any organizations that, that, that use your painting, that buy your paintings? Oh. You know, National Wildlife Organization or that kind of thing that incorporate them and say programs to help protect a certain species? I'm glad you asked me that. Um, I donated some to Tippy Hedren's Roar Foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she yeah. is fabulous. Princess, you have the, the one, the uh, Art of Sax, with Will Zanotto, who we love, but also has some animals in it as well. Right. So what makes you, inspires you to do something that's a mix of animals and not animals? Um, the rainforest. The rainforest is in big trouble. So that, that painting, they're in the rainforest. They're, they think they're tropical, but you yeah. know, we know where they play. Yeah. yeah. They can't hide. <laughs> Now I'm going to talk about the one, uh, okay, the tank, Toucan this. Tango. Oh yeah. What was the inspiration for that? That's completely different than the other ones, isn't it? It is. And just, what inspired you there? Just the endangered tropical birds. Uh -huh. And then, um, no secret, I like to dance. So I got these two, mm -hmm. this couple. And I like the way the white stands out from the color. Yeah. I'm so heavily into color. Do you have a, an exhibition or how do you say sell a chunk of paintings if you're, if you're ready to do that? What do you do? I usually get in the gallery. Mm -hmm. I've been in galleries in, um, in Palm Springs, in Beverly Hills. So tell us about the licensing process. What is, what's involved with that? Okay. They um, license my work. I get the contract and have my friend the attorney look it over. And then they put my designs on tote bags, on children's, I do a lot of, I have a children's room collection. Mm -hmm. So blankets, prints. T-shirts, kind of, whatever. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. The monkeys, the old world monkeys, now there's a number of different monkeys in that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's the, the mandrel, the snow monkeys, 
And are those all endangered? Yeah, they're wow. all in big trouble. Oh, wow. So it's Carol Lisa Lozito. I will be on the lookout for your artwork, uh, endangered wildlife artist. Um, thank you for your work and, and for helping to save some of these animals. That's really wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.